The Isle of Skye in Scotland is a beautiful island connected to the northwest coast of the country by bridge and visiting the island is a must for tourists in the area. From visiting the fairy pools to enjoying the views from Neist Point, join Viewcation as we explore the best things to do in Isle of Skye, Scotland. Visit the Fairy Pools While you aren't likely to find any actual fairies at the fairy pools, visiting them is still a magical experience. The location of the fairy pools is a particularly great place for tourists to take pictures, and no one will believe your tales of the area's incredible scenery unless you bring home photographic proof. The fairy pools require visitors to take a short walk to get to them, though the walk itself is filled with enough beautiful scenery that this shouldn't be too much of a nuisance. The walk there is a mile long and you'll be surrounded on all sides by beautiful Scottish scenery. The fairy pools themselves consist of several beautiful and stunningly blue pools, as well as several waterfalls flowing into them. You can swim in the waters of the pools, but it's typically very cold. The fairy pools derive their name from a Scottish legend, which claims there was a former chief who married a fairy princess who used to bathe in the pool at night. Legends also suggest the pool used to be occupied by selkies. Those are Scottish mythological creatures that are human by day and seal by night. Check out the Fairy Glen. We can't mention the fairy pools without also mentioning the Fairy Glen. It's a small landslip, and it's another Scotland location that provides some incredible scenery. It's resulted in numerous green hills, and there are a bunch of little ponds interspersed between them. One of the hills is colloquially referred to as Castle Ewan due to the fact that it looks slightly like a ruined castle from afar. Beyond these hills is a small cave, and there's a legend that says anyone who presses coins into the crack of this cave will receive good luck. Between the fairy pools and the fairy glen, there's certainly a lot of magic going on in Scotland. Marvel at the Medieval Dunvegan Castle The most popular medieval castle on the Isle of Skye is Dunvegan. The Dunvegan Castle has been passed down from chief to chief of Clan MacLeod for decades, with Clan MacLeod being the Highland Scottish clan associated with the Isle of Skye. While Dunvegan Castle is always in the chief's possession, it isn't a permanent residence so much as a vacation home. Most of the time, it simply stands as a medieval marvel for tourists to gaze at. Tours are held within the castle, though the interior isn't quite as impressive as the exterior. The exterior is impressive for its medieval architecture, as well as for the grand gardens and intricately constructed wooden pathways that line it. Visit Isle of Skye's capital town of Portree. The town of Portree isn't your typical capital. It's a good deal more quaint and charming than you might expect. The town is incredibly welcoming to tourists, and there are plenty of great places to shop and eat within its boundaries. Those include the Lower Deck Seafood Restaurant located on Douglas Row. Other great places include the Scory Brayak Restaurant and the Granary. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Check out the monumental landslip of the Kirang. The Kirang is easily one of the most beautiful locations in all of Scotland, and its sights are not to be missed if you're visiting the Isle of Skye. The name of the game there is hiking and taking pictures. Those who don't want to walk around can simply park and gaze at the beauty of the location from an observation point. However, nothing really compares to getting out into the terrain of the Kirang and taking pictures from within the heart of the beautiful scene. It's particularly beautiful during sunrise, as the rising rays illuminate the hills in an exceptional way. Learn something at the Sky Museum of Island Life Those interested in understanding the anthropological history of the isle might be interested in checking out the Sky Museum of Island Life. The museum is nothing all that mind-blowing, as it only consists of a handful of buildings filled with a modest collection of artifacts from the island's past. But anyone looking to know how the people of the island have lived over the years will find that this small museum does a pretty great job in painting a picture with its meager means. The buildings comprising the museum are all authentic structures left over from the time the museum is dedicated to showcasing. The museum is supposed to resemble an old highland village, and entering there will make you feel like you've stepped back in time. The museum opened in 1965 and has only become more and more pertinent in the years since. The grounds also house a cemetery where some notable figures from Scottish history are buried. Check out the seaside cliff called Kilt Rock. There are a few things more Scottish than a seaside cliff that resembles a giant kilt. 
The appropriately named Kilt Rock is just that, and it's no surprise the beautiful location has become such a favorite with locals and tourists alike. If you'd like to see Kilt Rock for yourself, you won't be disappointed. The natural beauty of the location is more than enough to make a visit worthwhile. It's particularly gorgeous during sunrise. Explore for Dinosaur Footprints A visit to An Karan Beach will give you a unique opportunity to search for dinosaur footprints. They were recently discovered there, and there's a good chance you'll be able to see some if you go to the location when the tide is low enough. Check the tide schedule before you head there, as they become invisible once the water rises. Gaze at the Old Man of Store the Old Man of Store, sometimes simply referred to as the Store, is a rocky hill that sits on the eastern side of the Isle of Skye. It was allegedly formed as a result of a gigantic landslide that happened during ancient times. Today it stands as one of the best places to visit on the Isle, for those looking to partake in a beautiful hike. The hike to the top is less than 7 miles long, and it's a ton of fun if you've got the energy. Once you get to the top, the views are incredible. This is particularly true when the skies are clear, but those who know Scotland know that this is rarely the case. Enjoy the views from Neist Point Finally, let's look at Neist Point. This area is home to the Neist Point Lighthouse, which is a sight to behold. Whether you're looking to check out some stunning high cliffs or check out the Neist Point Lighthouse, visiting Neist Point is worthwhile. In addition, the area's paths are all paved with concrete, which makes the location incredibly accessible. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on the Isle of Skye? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.